In this video, we'll show you how to remove and replace the front fuel pump in the front fuel tank on a Ford F-150. So on the front gas tank, the pump is located right under the bed. And you can reach your hands right over the frame rail and grab the lock clips on the fuel lines, pull those off. Grab the other one. You might be able to use a small screwdriver. Now you take the fuel release tool. Make sure it's all the way up. Grab that fuel line. I'm gonna get some pliers. Put your fuel line release tool on. It's one of these. There you go. Try to get it to seat. You want it to go up inside that fuel line all the way up. Grab some pliers. Now we'll get the tool when the tank comes down. So now I'm going to use the gas tank jack. I'm going to support the fuel tank. If needed to, we could tilt it, get the cushions to sit on it. Now that I have the jack holding the tank in place, I can take the gas tank straps down. 13 millimeter wrench for the top, hold that bolt, and a 15 millimeter socket for the nut. If you can reuse the nut and bolt, I recommend it. So the gas tank strap has like a T on the end here and it goes into this little T-fitting. So you have to turn it to get it to come out. Just like that. Same on the rear strap here, 13 millimeter wrench on the top, 15 millimeter socket. As you can see, our strap here is so badly rusted. It just fell out, the strap broke, so it fell right out of the holder. Um, just do the same technique you did on the front strap with that T and slide it out. With a flathead screwdriver or 8mm or 516 socket, disconnect the clamp for the rubber hose that goes to the filler neck. Now I'm going to get a pick and use a flathead screwdriver if you can get in there. Try not to puncture the rubber hose. You're just breaking it free from the middle. And go all the way around. All right. Get that to move on the filler neck. So when you drop the tank, there we go. So now that the tank's dropped down, we disconnected it from the fuel filler neck, but there's a long tube that runs in that rubber hose. 
and it's gonna really drag this tank from dropping the rest of the way down. And now that I can expose that, I'm gonna take this clamp off. And it is a eight millimeter or five sixteenths. Okay, now we gotta break that rubber hose off the tank. Now with a long screwdriver or pry bar, we're just gonna kind of manipulate this hose, wiggle it right off that piece of the tank. And here is the fuel pump connector. It's located on the inside of that frame rail. I'm gonna take a pocket screwdriver and just kind of poke up on it. It's probably filled with sand too, so just keep working it back and forth until you break it free. And there you go. Now the only thing you have left on the gas tank is the vent hose. So there's a little plastic tie here. I'm just gonna cut that off. If you have one, you're gonna to have to cut it also so that you can bring that fuel pump harness down. And then here is the vacuum line that I'm talking about, a little vent hose. So it lines right up over here, but this hose is pretty old and petrified. So I'm gonna to try to do my best not to damage or break anything. So with a little bit of pressure on it, I'm just gonna take a screwdriver and pop the vent solenoid right out little vent valve. Now I can take the tank all the way down. This plastic shield needs to be transferred over to the new tank, so we're just gonna grab it and slide it off. And now you're just gonna slide it right on the nose of the new tank. Line these up with the lip of the tank, slide it on. You'll see it actually locks on. Now with the tank out of the way, I can grab the vent valve. I'm gonna take that rubber seal right off because I need to Transfer it over to the tank. Now on the tank, we're just gonna see that ridge line. We're gonna slide that right inside that. Place it in. Just pop it in all the way around. To make sure it's seated. And there we go. Just put your finger on the inside. You can feel that it's gone flush just like this on the top, on the inside. So you're good to go. Now with a brass punch and a hammer, I'm gonna take the fuel pump retainer ring off, that lock ring. Just hit all the little tab ears that stick up. Now before you lift that pump out, now, now is the time to get the blowgun and blow some of that sand and dirt away so it doesn't drop in the tank. I have a catch basin close by so I can if there's any residual fuel, I can just drop it right in there. So the new pump comes a little package. It's got some butt connectors in it for the female end of the fuel pump harness. And that is, in case you have any damage to the vehicle side harness, you can always replace the connector. And it comes with a seal. So we're gonna take the seal out because our harness is fine. I'm not gonna Replace it. Mm 
I'm gonna try to place that seal right perfectly in the center. I'm gonna put the float level in first, followed by the pickup screen. Make sure that seal is. So the tank has these two notches, one here and one over here. And that's a guide for you to remember which way to face the pump for the lines to, to connect. And the pump comes with these little tabs right here. There's one right here and one on the other side. So they're gonna line up with that. And once you get the pump in place, get that seal to stay in place. You can line that right up. There we go. Now you see how the seal does this? That's why I always keep a little pocket screwdriver. I'm gonna push that right back down into that groove. This is perfectly normal, happens all the time. Now we'll take our fuel pump gas tank lock ring. There we go. Now I'm gonna put a little pressure on it, push down, and I'm gonna tap on one of these tabs. Just take your brass punch and spin the ring around. Don't forget to alter back and forth. Just looking for that nub right there on that ring to stop on these tabs. Now that our pump's in, we can start pushing our tank back up. Before it gets all the way up, I'm gonna put the fuel lines back on. I gotta put that vent back in and the filler neck hose on the actual tank. I'm gonna plug the pump in. The new pump comes with a nice clip, which I'm gonna put back on that frame. You can see where it was. We'll line up those tabs and push it until it clicks. And like I showed you earlier, we supply this connector in case it's frayed or damaged. You can splice one in so you have a new connector on that pump. So that's right there where it locates. I'm not quite there for height yet. So once I get up there, I'll pop that little plastic push pin in the frame hole. Meanwhile, I'm gonna take a little pair of cutters and get that old one out. Okay, and just pop that through. Here we go on the other side. I could tilt the tank because it's lightweight, it's empty. I'm gonna take my plastic caps off the center unit. And I can see the size difference. The larger line is gonna go on that further side here. And I'm gonna connect the smaller line on. You're gonna have a little residual view. And here, click. Let's get this, this one on. I'm gonna put it over that vent tube. Because you know I have to, you know what, before I do that, I'm gonna put that vent tube in. And I'm just gonna start it. I don't think I'm gonna be able to pop it all the way down. I'm gonna have to spray a little, like I like to do. Parts cleaner actually works better than a penetrating spray. So let's see if I can get that in there. There we go. All right, now we can put that other fuel line on until it clicks. Now we can put our little safety clips on.
still can't quite reach that. So we'll pump the tank up back up a little bit higher and then we'll connect everything else. Straighten the tank out a little bit. connect that filler neck hose before I get up there too tight. All right, I'm located over on the driver's side now in the rear. I'm gonna put the brake clean on that hose so it slides on a lot easier. Let's see if I can get my hand up in there a little bit better. And let's push this filler neck down on the tank. I'm going to have to jack that tank up just a smidge more. Problem is centering that inner tube, that inner hose. I'm going to grab a little pick, try to work a little bit smarter, not harder. Pull on that inner hose. Get the center bitter. There we go. Let's check the tank up. Let's see if we can put this down. Let's get that clamp out of the way now. <laughs> there we go, finally. All right, let's push it down the rest of the way. Looks like it's bottomed out. All right, now let's get the uh, socket, tighten up that clamp. 5 sixteenths or a 8 millimeter socket. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to put the new gas tank strap in on the most forward part of the gas tank. And you have that T notch. So you just slide it basically in like that. Push it up and lock it in. See how it's locked in there? And then you can form it to where, where it needs to be. And you can see the tank, it's got that line in it. So I'm gonna bring it up. I'm gonna pre-bend it a little bit. And I already left my bolt in there. Now I could bring that up. Get my air gun. For me, it's a 13 millimeter wrench for the top of the bolt and 15 millimeter socket. I'm not gonna snug it up because I'm gonna have to put the back strap on and manipulate this uh, tank to center it. And then we'll tighten it all up. So I've got the rear gas tank strap I'm putting in right now. Now you can see our tank, our frame is pretty wasted in the brackets pretty bad so obviously just put it in the same way you did the front with that T going in that slot. I'm gonna, it seems to be holding enough so that I can put this on. Okay, the rear bolt. There we go. And we're gonna snug that up. Okay, I'm going to snug the front. Now 
Now I can lower the gas tank jack. Now I'm going to tighten the clamp on the hose on my 5 16 socket. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.